Moving averages are great for understanding trends and smoothing the data. 50 Excel formulas in 50 days, day 15. So here I have got the website visitors for the month of August 2025 and I want to calculate three day moving average. Here is how we could normally do it. We could say average and select three values and then you can just kind of drag this down. The problem with this approach is it is static. That means if I want to do five day or seven day, then I'll have to change this. So we are going to develop a dynamic moving average formula like this. We are going to say offset and select this cell as the reference and we want to stay in the same row, same column, but get a height that is equal to the number of days. I'm going to lock this reference and set the width to one. It's going to give you the first three day values here. If three becomes seven, we'll get seven values. Now all we got to do is send this offset to average. So we're going to say average of that and we will get the average of the seven days. Now we just drag this down. How cool is that? Now while this works, it has two problems. The first problem is this moving average is kind of going forward in time. So it looks at these seven days and the average goes here. Many times you want these seven days average to go into the last cell here. And the second problem is we'll need to drag this formula down. So tomorrow I'm going to explain how to use map function to dynamically apply this value for all the things as well as calculate the moving average at the bottom cell instead of the top. See you then.